He is a high profile lawyer in the Vanderbilt rape case, but tonight one of the main defense attorneys is suspended from practicing law. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland is live outside the courthouse. And John Quill, who's out? That's right, Roy. John Her Herberson represents Brandon Vandenberg. He is one of the four former Vandy players accused of raping a woman on campus in June of 2013. But when that trial starts in January, Herberson won't be there. Yes, I do. In the high profile case that's already been delayed twice, another curveball is thrown into the mix. Defense attorney John Herbison is suspended from practicing law after multiple complaints were filed with the Board of Professional Responsibility. They were both complaints that were uh, long in the tooth. They were old. They were difficult to defend because of their age. Law partner Fletcher Long represented Herbison and says this disciplinary action is not uncommon. And this 60 day active suspension at the conclusion of which he's reinstated without requiring him to file any sort of petition was a uh, negotiated disposition of that petition. Herberson will remain on probation for 16 months after he's reinstated. The cases he worked on will go on as planned, including the Vandy rape trial set to begin January 12th. And you have to credit us for knowing our respective limitations. But I've always been the jury trial lawyer in this office, and John has always been the motion appellate lawyer. Long will move forward with Albert Perez. This case is prepared for trial. We were ready to try it in early November. But the Vandy case was not the only high profile case Herbison worked on. His office also represents Jason Autry, one of the suspects accused of kidnapping and murdering Holly Bobo. Jason Autry really hired Mike Flanagan and me. Uh, John, of course, and as part of his duties to the office, has assisted us to date. But I can promise you that, again, Mike Flanagan and I are eminently capable of providing and mounting a vigorous defense with or without John. Now, in addition to his suspension, Herbison will have to pay nearly $4,000 in fines. His suspension will begin on November 30th. Live downtown, I'm John Cole Newland, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, John Quill. In 2006, Herbison was censured by the Board of Professional Responsibility for not responding to clients and in 2011 was suspended for 11 months for failing to communicate with clients.